Someone tried to make it inspiring with shutters. It's very I mean, flat. Yeah, we're gonna need to do something to the front to make it cutesy. Yeah. Definitely bigger windows on the front. We probably can't bump out the front at all, can we? No, we're gonna have to work with this, what's on yeah. the side, so we'll just need to make this flat face. But we can make it, it with interesting with plants. Yeah, plants and, in the front. Yeah. All right, let's go out inside. Definitely need some new steps. Yep. Oh my. What the heck is that? Is that like the pass through? You cook I, food on the other side and you pass it through? I think because there's no windows there, they left that there to get some natural light in. Oh. So there's this skinny bedroom on the front, and then this one kind of bumps open. I feel like this is one ensuite. Yeah, probably. Or, or the living room. Yeah, living room, kitchen, dining on like this front chunk. Yeah. We'll open both of these bedrooms up into the living room. You know, the smell isn't terrible, but it's not what I'd call good. No. So just coat closet. And that looks like, I love this. Furnace. I love this. We have the furnace, so let's vent it into the house. Yeah. Genius, genius, because there might be gases that would be bad in the furnace room. Yeah. So let's make but sure that. that doesn't look old at all. No. This is awesome. If we can reuse the furnace and water heater, we'll save about five grand. I mean, I think we can reuse both of those. That's wild. But probably not there. No. Do you have, have you been in this one? Uh-huh. Is yeah. there a crawl? I haven't uh, explored quite that far. OK. So this is another bedroom with an attached bathroom. There's the attic. If you want to pop up there with your- You want me to give you a boost? Um, I will give you a boost. No, no, that's not happening. Because I'm not, I'm not going to have you have the baby right here because you strained something. <laughs> I loved appliances last week. I'm fine. Uh, this is a whole different thing. You know, you had they wheels said, for that. They said anything you did before you were pregnant, you can do now. And I've done this before I was uh, pregnant. Mm, I'm not taking the chance. Okay. I'm not delivering a baby in this house. OK. In a car, in a taxi, in a field, yes, in this house. Not, not a tragic, tragic toilet. toilet. Whoa, high five. Oh, goodness. <laughs> but this is weird that it's a dual access bath that also leads you right into the kitchen. Well, we probably need to go up two stories on the back, Yeah. right? And I think this shed addition has to come off for that to happen, yeah. so this goes away. All these four rooms are now one giant room. And kitchen kind of along that wall, maybe we could even fit a breakfast bar, dining area, living, living room. room. And then all the bedrooms are in a new addition on the back. Yeah. Do you want to go out back and measure? Because I kind of want to take a peek at the backyard anyway. Yeah. Out here's a little bit of a mess. Oh, there's a little nugget backyard, though. Here, give me your tape measure. This is 20 feet, so I think we could come back further. I'm at 24, so we could at least come to 25 and still have a good sized backyard. All right. So here's what we need to do. The front of the house is really flat and dull. We need to add a bunch of curb appeal up here, and the first four rooms in the house, we should convert to an open concept living, dining, kitchen space. And then we'll do our two-story addition, which will include the master suite, one and a half baths, and two bedrooms. And most importantly, we gotta be careful with the budget. We can't go crazy with fixtures and finishes because we have a lot to do, and we don't have a lot of money to spend. What did you pay for this? Uh, right around 50. Okay. So what are we gonna spend? What, 180, 200? No way. If we wanna make money on our house, the renovation budget cannot exceed 170,000. So we're all in at 220,000. And then I wanna sell it for a minimum of 275. We need to make a profit in order to keep us out of debt on this row of houses. So far, East Street houses have been a money suck and we really need to turn that around. Demo on three. One, two, three, demo! Hey, Tad. What's up? Let's get down this whole center wall so we can see through the whole thing and see if this is structural so we can take uh, studs out or not. Floor joists run this way. We're sitting on that. That's structural? Yeah. I would like to take down this wall to open up the space, and Tad says it's a structural wall. It might be like a drop ceiling. We could, we could check the ceiling. It looks like there are pretty significantly dropped ceilings with yeah. pretty significant structure. They use like two by sixes to yeah. drop the ceiling. Yep. Uh, or that's a drop ceiling, maybe. You can see up in there now. We've got like two more feet of ceiling height. I don't think that's structural. One, two, three. 
Yeah, it's not structural. These are going all the way up to that, so I don't think this is I don't think so either. supporting anything. I think we can remove that wall because it's only supporting the drop ceiling, and it'll make it really nice and open, and we can go pretty high with the kitchen cabinets. Mm -hmm. So right. on East Street, three bedroom, two and a half bath. So we've got this strange kind of sideways front door that doesn't face the street when you enter into the house. Then once you walk in, it's just a bunch of really small rooms. The new floor plan now when you walk in is pretty open concept. You walk into the living room, straight ahead of you to the right is kitchen with an island, and then kind of around your corner will be the dining room, and we're gonna have a big, long, built-in bench as part of the seating. Oh. So then we could do a table here with maybe like a couple captain's chairs, but mix it up a little bit, you know? Plus, I think this is one of the ways we can give some character to the house by making it a little different. Okay. I think the built-in bench is just cool. Why not? Why not yeah. a built-in bench? Okay. So this section here, this is original house. Okay. And then the addition holds our laundry room, our half bath, coat closet, master bedroom, and the staircase to the second floor addition. So this is a double vanity. There's a toilet. In oh. its own room. Yeah, I love a toilet in its own room. So we've also got French doors off the master bedroom nice. because we'll have the deck off the back. So when you come up the staircase, this is all new addition. So we've got a full bath and two bedrooms. When you go upstairs, the bathroom's right in front of you, and then both bedrooms are kind of around the corner. They both have angled walls that the doors sit in to make the landing area functional, but it's also cute to you. Yeah, I love an angled door. Nice. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Yeah, you should. I think we're gonna be in like, dare I say 300? That would be fabulous. That would be fabulous, but. Knock on wood? Oh, knock on wood. Gotta get her done first. <laughs> Real funny. I really want this house on East Street to be the one that kind of changes our fortune, that we really make some money on. And to this point, we've got the foundation poured, it's all framed up, and today we're gonna work on a little extra curb appeal. Man. It still has way too much wretched. fast. <laughs> the front of this house is pretty itty bitty. It's small, and it's still a little ratchety. The final vision is not here yet. We're just going up, yeah. She's flying up it. She looks like she's done this before. Oh, yeah. The siding definitely will add some curb appeal, <laughs> but I want to add some, like, pizzazz with a bright front door. OK. So the siding is that purple gray. The trim is kind of a creamy, and the accent is yellow. But you can't see the front door, which is yellow. We're not doing a, a trim piece here and then something different on the gable. We don't need a gable vent because we have the spray foam. Right, but a decorative gable vent would be nice, and then we could do the window boxes in the same color, and then maybe Flower pots, big, tall flower pots on either side of the door. Add a little pop in the front. What if we do a little tree, like, out a little bit in that corner? And then some foundation planting. All right. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> this is going to be a huge kitchen. I love it. It's just so crazy to me still, like, from the outside of the house. It looks so little. It doesn't look like it would have this giant kitchen in it. It's Narnia in there. There's a whole universe behind that little door. This would be a super fun place for wallpaper. Just a little smidge of wallpaper right here, just a little amuse-loi. We can do something on the back of it. Yeah. I'll find some wallpaper options. We can look at those. OK. Adding wallpaper to the knee wall of the island is fun. It's affordable. It adds a little pop where you wouldn't expect one. And it's just the kind of detail that a buyer might fall in love with. Interior finishes are moving along, and it's all really starting to come together. We're going with a really pretty pattern tile for the bathroom floor. Done. Done, done, done. That's it. Good, good, good. And Mom and Bobcat are downstairs installing our kind of like gray, ashy colored floor that really is going to look like it's been there for a while, I think. We're going to have this floor done in record time, Austin. Record time, you say? When I was sweeping, the sweat on your face absorbed all the dust. It's like a clay mask now. Oh, my face? Yeah. It's, oh. like, it's like a beauty show. You're so dirty. You're so, yeah, I'm so sorry. That's, that's generally how things go. It's OK. <laughs> I've accepted it. I've learned. All right. Done. OK. So now we have to make some cuts to fit around here. To fit up to the island. So I have an idea. I like yep. that you're here for me. 
Austin is my go-to design consultant. So what I would like to do when someone walks through the space is I want them to give a long view. So what if when you're walking on the front porch, mm -hmm. right below the window that's right here, there's a window box with some trailing green viney things. And then on the back of this island, like a wallpaper that kind of trails you that direction. And okay. then, I like okay. what's happening yeah. here. So we want the eye to go this way. What if we hang some beakers at different heights, little lights coming down to them, plants coming out of them, and makes you want to go this direction to see, oh, what's over there? Yeah. I like it. OK. I'll take All right. it. All right. Let's carry on. We got floor. Yep. You want me to hold it while you wrap it? Just loosen. There we go. I'm happy. OK, so right about there. Let's, let's put some plants in. How do we feel about that? All right, so pretend that that box fits perfectly up at the top. Yeah. It's like a little magical fairyland. Yeah, it works well. There you go. Today is the day. We're loading everything in, we're zhuzhing, we're finishing touches, making it all pretty, getting it ready for our potential buyers. I love the color of it. What about you? I like I like the color. Because some people think I pick two feminine colors. Oh, no, 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 I like it. OK. And you've got this really cute porch around the side. It's kind of tucked around the corner, so it still feels a little bit private. And a nice fence for if we get a dog. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Do you want to go inside? Absolutely. Yeah, All right. Let's go. Come on in. Oh, my oh, goodness. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. I love the high ceilings. It makes it seem so much bigger. You know what I always say? It's not how far your feet can move. It's how, how far your eye can move. Yeah. That makes a place feel big. When we got the house, this front section was the existing main portion of the house, and it was actually broken up into four rooms. So, <laughs> all gone. That's a technical construction term. <laughs> <laughs> Open it all up. And we can't put any windows on this wall because of the closeness to the house next door. So we kind of fake windows with the cabinets up top with glass and lights. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. So you don't even notice. And then we put lots of windows other places. I love it. I already love the countertops. Yeah. The marble is beautiful. I love the paper underneath the wallpaper. Uh, the design is just beautiful. That was kind of a, a late addition. We felt like I could have been fine with nothing there, but it was an opportunity to do something a little fun and playful. So, so we're telling a story. There's plants outside that flow in, and then there's this nice organic feel. And then I've superimposed my father's history into this space. That's his chemistry set, and I made it into a light. I love it. So plant, wow. plant, plant, plant. It's nice. all part of a story. Yeah. So you want to move around, kind of check out the dining yes. room space? You can pack some people in here. Yeah. I mean, just at the dining room table, you could easily seat 12. Oh, uh, you could get 10 on that bench. Yes, easy. Oh, I'm sure. Easy. And one of the super cool things about the bench, because we try to put storage in everywhere we can, so this whole bench actually opens up and is storage underneath. Oh, that's nice. We need storage. We've been short on that. Uh -huh. Something we've really needed for a long time. Are you sharing a vanity? Yes. yes. Oh, bless your yes. souls. If we head towards the back of the house, you'll see your own separate vanities. They're lovely. And there's actually, I'm guessing you don't have this either, a throne room. It's where the toilet's private. Oh. They just oh. throne room to make it sound fancy. Oh. <laughs> so let's go back well, there and check that out. <laughs> So this is your master bedroom. Ooh, I love it. There was a small shed addition, so we're standing in what was a tiny kitchen with a, one bathroom behind us. So that all got taken off, and we did a bigger two-story new construction addition. Very nice. Very nice.